Good morning, everybody. We have a uh, new package to open up today. Um, hopefully, this is what I think it is. Um, this is going to be a opening slash unboxing. Um, drones under $100. Uh, I've been doing more of the FPV drones than anything lately. So, I'm trying to get some of the newer stuff that's coming out. I don't know you get some, you know, better views and everything like that, but to, yes, this is what I want, um, try to stay on top of what's trending and help people out with the, all the new stuff. So today, um, I had a product that I ordered. This is from RDQ, Race Day Quads. Um, this is the Happy Model Bind and Fly Mobula. 6-1-S with the uh, Free Sky receiver on it. And this is still on pre-order. I purchased this super early, like pretty much the week that it hit the page. Um, they have shipped out their first um, amount of shipments or whatever that they're trying to you know release. But this still is uh, on pre-order. This little guy right here, you cannot buy yet. But here he is. And we are going to open this little dude up and see what he's all about. So, as I was saying, this is the Happy Model Mobula 6 Micro FPV Whoop. Um, this is the race edition, not the regular edition. And um, this is the Free Sky receiver, not the Fly Sky. So, that's exactly what is in the box. We're going to crack this open and see what we got. So, first off, this is the drone. This looks oh so familiar to something that I literally think I almost built myself last month. But this is, this is the little quadcopter right here. This is the Mavula 6. Very, very small quad little guy. I like the skeletal canopy structure of him. It's extremely cool. I like that. Little camera there to the front. He has his um, VTX and receiver are both located to the top. One comes out the upper well, if you're looking at it, it'd be the right hand side, but from the back it's the left side. And then his um, other wire is just coming out the top. Very cool. These uh, motors are um, 0802, 25,000 kilovolts. So it has very, very light. So there's, there's the quad. Let's we'll see what we have inside the box. I've done nothing to this as you've seen. I've just opened it straight up and with this, and I don't know if this is a pre-order thing, but it came with one, two, three, four batteries. That's, that's pretty cool. I think the most that I've got is with an Emacs model. I got two one time. Um... This is this little you know hardware set or whatever, an extra set of props, um, the removal tool, one extra canopy screw, and four extra hardware screws plus the screwdriver. Let's see, this is his charger. So he came with his own little charging port here. And last but not least, we have some instructions. See if there's anything important in here, real quick. I like I like this. This is this is nice. This is full. This is in color. It's laid out nice. So we have the VTX bands and channel setup. There is um, the mixer control settings. There's the outline for Betaflight in here. Um, 
the ESC check-in firmware flash. It has the flight controller and firmware update, flip over crash procedure. This is cool. This, I've only seen this on one other um, mini quad. This called Meow Mode. This actually has you can set one channel of your radio transmitter to activate the flip over function in the mode tab of Beta Flight Configurator. So if you're flying this around and you flip it over, there's a tab where it makes it flip back over if you happen to crash. That's cool. Um, features AIO Form 1. Crazy B F4 flight light controller build um, 5.8 G VTX um, Extreme Light 1S 65 millimeter brushless whoop. This guy I just got the weight on it in here. 20 grams. 20 grams. He is less than three quarters of an ounce. That's that's pretty cool. Or he is four ounces. Four grams over an ounce. I'm sorry. I'm not thinking clearly. <laughs> anyway, um, compatible with 1S um, LiPo. The camera angle is adjustable. Um, now, let's see. Size can be varied on this. Uh, let's see. Uh, it's 80 millimeters by 80 millimeters by 37 millimeters. Um, receiver option, internal SPI free sky option, compatible. It is um, compatible with either D8 or the D16 mode. D8 is recommended. That's pretty easy to set up. Um, internal SPI, FlySky version, um, compatible with AFHDS and the 2A for FlySky. Motor speed um, options there is the SEO 802. 25,000 kilovolt is the race edition. If you get the regular edition, that only has 19,000. Um, there is a wire configuration for the flight controller, um, also for the VTX setup as the buy-in and flight procedure. Um, we're gonna take a two second break on this and I'm gonna can't see if I just can get this in the air for you real quick. So we'll be right back. Okay, so I took the minute and got this guy hooked up. Um, very simple. Put him on D8 mode. You have to hit this button on the bottom to arm him. He'll turn solid red um, with the battery on. After that, activate your um, free sky, trans remote, whatever. Um, change it to D8. Hit the bind mode. The red light on here will go from solid to blinking. You hit bind, it goes back to the solid red. After that, it's pretty simple for the inputs. You just change your um, input 5 to SF which is here for arming your input six to SD, which is here for your modes. And then when you go page over to your mixer, you make sure everything matches up. So we did that and we have this little guy here. We're going to just pop him up real quick. See what we can do. It's raining outside. It's also snowing. So I mean, it's pretty crappy outside. I can't do anything with him today, but did just want to get a little video of this up and show you what he does. Sorry, it's a mess in here, but... He is very quick. Very quick. I'm not gonna do too much with him. This is uh, straight out of the box. I have not had a chance to charge these batteries. I don't wanna wreck them, blow a cell or anything, so I'm gonna bring them back and land them. That's a little hard on the landing. Anyway, but here we go, straight out of the box, ladies and gentlemen, the new Mybilla 6. Um, seems like he's pretty cool. He's got a good amount of power, um, good little punch out on him and everything like that. That was in um, Horizon mode. I didn't want to do anything crazy with him in here. And plus, also, this is the first chance I've had a chance to do anything with him, as you've seen, fresh out of the box. So here he is. Hope you guys like this. Um, definitely going to have some more videos of them when the weather is nicer out but thank you for tuning in today and watching uh, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe down below have a good day thanks